8-28-2020. I have a couple minutes this morning and I'm trying to figure out what I should talk about because I just kind of like feel like I've been hit by an avalanche of stuff. My heart is being attacked daily. My heart is being attacked at this moment. It's not at being attacked in such a way that's going to cause me to have to run into the, you know, they couldn't even do anything for me in the emergency room when my heart was being attacked in, in terrifying ways. Now it's just being attacked in a low-level way so that I know it's being manipulated. Um, I can't myself, and even, even when this was going on, they claimed that they couldn't... Um, tell anything about it from the instruments that they have at the hospital and um, I can't you know I've got a Fitbit that doesn't tell me anything in fact I think my Fitbit right now my Fitbit is reading what 88 so I think my Fitbit is hacked um, it's not even a Fitbit but it's a knockoff version um, anyway and now it's 80 right and I don't think it's I don't even necessarily know that I'm talking about the beats per minute of my heart I don't think it's even necessarily showing what's really going on I think um, it's been hacked. If I put it right on top of my heart and hold it here, it says 79 now. So um, <clears throat> when <clears throat> there's so much sophisticated control going on in my mind and my brain and my body uh, and brains and are part of your body, um, eventually it becomes hard to tell um, what's what's being controlled and what's not being controlled. But around me, a lot is being controlled. And so over time, it's been I can see that so much stuff is being controlled that even if I, I guess at some point and think something's being controlled and that actually isn't being controlled, um, it probably doesn't happen that often um, because there's so much control around me right now. I really object to this uh, control of my body like this. It's, you know, this is might makes right kind of attitude. This is not about law and order. This is not about anything other than might makes right. And somebody has the might right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to be trying to figure stuff out. Apparently, you know, I'm given this task to do. It's very, some very old tradition, something going on, right? But it's being made more difficult because of these attacks. Now, maybe they're permitted to attack me like this under these rules. How would I know? Because the rules are secret. So how there could, maybe there aren't any rules at all. Maybe it's just a big farce. Because there's a lot of farces here. There's a lot of um, spoofing of things, making you believe things that aren't true. That's a, you know. So um, I highly, highly, highly object to this entire situation. But I see that it's a very ingrained, especially in the United States of America, even though it all clearly came from somewhere else. Um, so I've had all this stuff crashing together on me at once this morning. My heart's being affected. I know that. My physical body's being affected. I know that at, at a low level. So I'm functional right now, but I'm not, I don't feel I'm completely, nor I'm not normally functional. And so there's sometimes, and sometimes I feel like I see things very clearly. Sometimes I feel like things are mashed up and muddled up. And I think things are pretty mashed and muddled right now, which is not to say that I'm not seeing things and understanding things, but how do you separate out what matters when you're apparently being subject to some kind of process that doesn't make sense to me because it's from a different time and place from what I'm accustomed to even though it's been running in the underground, you're in the background of my life, it's definitely been kept deliberately in the background. I've been kept deliberately in the dark, and I'm still being kept deliberately in the dark because apparently there's some kind of process going on, and I don't have access to what it is. I just have to guess. Um... Sometimes it seems to be described as voting. If it's voting, how do people vote? Who oversees the voting process? Who oversees the overseers? How do you know that it's legit? There's clearly an assassination process going on. And I don't think that that's le legit, except in the most, you know, if you don't really value human lives or if you don't value everybody's life, um, Maybe it might make sense, but it certainly doesn't make sense to me. 
Um, however, it's really, but maybe do, does everybody know about this and how, of, of the people that know about it, how much do they know and how much do they recognize? And I certainly am recognizing more and more and more as time goes by these likely assassinations. A lot of them are people who are of el elderly or if not elderly over a certain age, <sighs> but, um, the more I talk right now, the more my heart's being affected. I don't know who's doing this to me specifically. I don't know what their agenda is. I don't know if it's only one person with one agenda or if it's multiple people with a multiple agenda. It appears to be some sort of hierarchy of control. Somebody's made some decision at some type of executive level. It's all covert and underground. Um, and somebody else is carrying it out. So I object to all of that, okay? And and um I hope that whatever they're doing to my heart right now it doesn't cause permanent damage, but I it's not something that I have confidence in, especially seeing what's happened to Chris's heart. So, um there's lots of stuff going on here in my on my desktop, and I'm just trying to figure out what's the most important thing to bring out. I wish I had all day long to talk about this stuff, because I certainly have a lot to talk about. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll start out with this right here, which I found because of a message in a dream that I recently pub I published it last night, um, where I say... There's some kind of human trafficking, I'm, I'm paraphrasing from memory right now, that there's some kind of human trafficking thing going on. A link to the actual video, it's very short, uh, in the description. So there's a, some type, sort of human trafficking going on. I see a sign, and the sign says Mata and Co. So my daughter's, a cousin of my daughter is married to somebody named Mata. Um, I suspect there's a link there, but I googled Mata and Co. See, is there really something there? And in fact, there is. There's BP Mata and Co. It is a company located in. Ben let's just let's just do it here. Okay, so. Um, Google Doodle today features, um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember, I'm a French writer. Um, I just want to point out how much these hats here look like hearts with feathers sticking out of them. So what I'm noticing with this implanted heart symbolism, which you see sort of, so there's a mask hiding someone's identity. This is the right side. Um, a mask hiding someone's identity. Um, three hats that look like hearts, especially when this graphic is made smaller as it is on the web, and then feathers pointing out. And then over on this side, it looks like a black plant with, th you know, three parts to it and a chess piece. Yes, it's a king. Okay, so it's got a chess king on a book here. This thing up here, some similarities there in the appearance, and then three, so the number three is important a mask, the three hats that look like hearts. With So in this iconography, when the heart implant is being evoked, it, you know, it is, it gets evoked, like with a, an arrow through a heart, a pierced heart, um, some type of object near the heart. Um, I measured this implant with a radio frequency tracer, tracing the pings coming off of it, and it's right over my heart. Um, but there are also implants along, you know, alongside my lungs and my breasts all over on my chest. So that's, you know, that means they can aim stuff and do all kinds of stuff to my body that way. And they do. And that's, I, you know, that's what I want to address. The first thing that I want to address. How do we get to that? Anyhow, so I Googled BP and Co. I know I Googled Mata and Co. In fact, you know what, I'm going to clear my history right now because um, I'm not going to, not because I'm hiding things, but because it's interesting to see what comes up. Uh, 
um, when I've cleared my <clears throat> cache and my browsing history. So all the results are this BP Mata and Co. Until I get way down here as the Mata company silkscreen. So your partner in sea safety since 1966. So the first result is their website. And this is their website. We have an animated GIF of the Philippine flag. Um, it looks like there's three different branches in the Philippines. Manila is the head office. Cloud background, there's a person. So it looks like sea safety, sea safety, right? Um, I have questions. If you look at the website, you know, not only is it a pretty homemade looking design, but um, there isn't a whole lot of information on it. If you look at these things and you click on them, they don't go anywhere. If you click about us, you get a history. Um, Captain Benjamin P. Mata, seasoned master mariner with an illustri illustrious ocean going career. Um, and then contact us, gets you their address in the um, Manila for the head office, and a bunch of phone numbers an email and then there's a map and it gives you the so it gives you their their addresses and phone numbers and um, so I went ahead and looked at let's see this is interesting because this is this is different before I use the address so this is photos of BP Mata and Co marine sales so that looks like those I guess are lifeboats so somewhere on some website I saw that they say that they do a million dollars a year in revenue lang lang okay so this is what you get when you add Google this address This is different than what I got last night. This is interesting. I got something completely different. Okay, let's look at this here. Silver school bus. So what I think that last time when I looked for this I ended up was I still on the same block maybe in a different part yeah, I don't recognize it there's another silver car interesting well I did make a screen capture last night of what I saw so it was different than this did the same thing as far as I know, typed of pasted that address into Google and I came up in a different location. Um, so there's blurs over the school in different spots. That's significant. And um, so I think Google has a language that it's using here that has nuance that I don't understand. I know that the blurred spots are linked, like there is a blurred spot around Brett Bowman's house. Brett Bowman was Okay, so yeah, so this is the second time. So Brett Bowman was 
hit by a car and kept captive in a hospital type situation and trafficked from his hospital room. So this is a school called Divine Grace School with three blur spots over it. Um, my sense is that, I don't know if this is related to when in my dream it said Mata and Co related to trafficking. It could be, trafficking could be different things. And it was, um, I felt like it was human trafficking as opposed to drugs. Um, and I think it's implants. Implants is a, within the, the realm of implants, there's, I think, subgroups of what people are using implants for. One is medical, um, well, they're all medical manipulations. Look at these, it has a lot of wires. Um, they can sexually manipulate people with implants. So implants are used for sex trafficking. Um, they can assassinate people with implants. So implants are used for assassinations. They can medically traffic people um, with implants, so they're used for medical trafficking. So it could be any or all of those types of trafficking. And seeing these blurs on the school makes me think there is something going on around here. It's a high school. So that was that. I mean, that's basically what the, it's strange. This, I'm in a different spot this today than I'm, but this looks like the right place. The other place must have been a mistake. 